Jay Poetic and I'm back for another video. Stay tuned for more lifestyle videos, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. I'm not Patty LaBelle, but I heard you should hit that bell. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Alright guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, so this video is going to be about how to have your home smelling good. I know we do a lot of videos about hygiene, about how to keep yourself uh, top notch. But this is about um, home hygiene, basically. Okay. And um, basically, it starts with cleaning your house. Okay. Um, lots of dirt, grime, dust, um, odors get trapped on your surfaces. You know, dirt and grime gets on the floor. People are walking on it. Um, your fabrics hold on to a lot of dirt and odor and grease and um, just the air in your home can get stale or like not as fresh as it would be obviously if you weren't um, cohabitating there right like so it all starts with one place it starts with cleaning your house you know it starts with scrubbing the shower scrubbing the floors sanitizing um, the countertops, cleaning the toilet, you know, this is Lysol, um, this is Pine Sol, you know, my grandmother's been using this for years to mop her floors and everything like that, it has a lot of different things it does, it says deodorizes, cuts through grease and grime, it's good on wood, um, glazed tile, um, hardwood, everything. Um, you know, you guys know how to use this. I'm not telling you nothing that you don't know. Um, you know, bleach. Bleach mixed with, I don't like to use a lot of this because of the fact that bleach is toxic and it smells. And I'm very scent sensitive, guys. I know I talk about a lot of scents and stuff, but I'm an asthmatic and I'm actually a little bit scent sensitive. So these things drive me up the wall. That's why it's always in, well, I'll talk about that next. Anyway, but... You can dilute these things you should dilute these things but you know get to cleaning your home regularly you know have a set day a week or that you do certain things that way it doesn't become a lot to like clean your whole house right like maybe do the top layer of your house one day or do the bottom the next or maybe only do all the floors in your house and um, wash the linens one day and then go on to doing something else. you know what I mean like but the point is to clean your house no matter what you do if you like to break it up into parts or you like to get it all done in one time make sure you're cleaning your surfaces okay um, it also helps you not to get sick you know bleach and Lysol and just to clean if you want to go the natural route not only are there pre-made natural products that you can use which I like those too but also some like dish liquid, some lemon juice, vinegar, um, those things together um, with some hot water and you know a hot dish rag will clean almost anything. Um, some apple cider vinegar, some um, lemon juice or lime juice and some soap and you're good to go to clean most things and so on. And that's a great non-toxic way to do things. And it really does work. I do that a lot of times with my countertops and stuff. But anyway, yeah, so if you're going to be using high products like these, make sure you dilute them is all I'm going to say. But make sure you clean your home. The next really big thing to keep your house smelling fresh and to also to make sure it's clean, make sure you're opening the windows, guys. Not only to get rid of whatever toxins and stuff like that you're using to clean things, but in general, nobody wants the same stale air all the time. Like, you can tell when you're in your house for a long period of time, like, the air and how stale it gets. Oh, my battery's about to die. 
so long story short like make sure that you're opening windows especially after you clean but just periodically in your house anyway to get some new flow in there after you clean make sure or when you're cleaning i always do this like i will when i start cleaning i will open up all the windows in the house i will turn on some jams i will start cleaning and then um not only are you letting the fumes go out if there is any even if there's not any you're letting the um, like odor or anything stale air that's trapped in go out you're also releasing energy believe it or not because you're letting all the old energy exit and all the new energy come in same thing with smudging if you're going and you're burning sage and so on and you have all the windows open so all the negative energy can go out and you say you know, we usher out all the negativity and usher in all the positivity. Anyway, so that's one thing. Clean your home. Make sure you are allowing for airflow into your home, which helps you also not get sick. Um, next thing I want to talk about is clothing, bedding, and everything like that. You want to make sure that you are doing laundry and that you are washing your clothes, okay? You don't always need a detergent. You don't always need a um, scented detergent. Um, but you do need to wash your clothes, you know? Um, whether it be with um, baking soda or baking soda detergent or whether it be with a natural detergent or hypoallergenic detergent or baby detergent, I know they have all those, or whether it be with a regular store-bought one, you need thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. You need, sorry guys, you, I'll do the thumbnail after because I don't think any of those were hitting it. But anyway, you need to wash your clothes. So this is sunlight detergent it says the grease stain fighter this is natural eliminates and this one is safe for cold water or hot, hot water um, usually I get a different kind when I get sunlight but this kind was on sale so yeah it says um, this is what it looks like yeah um, I like this when I want like a fresher load of laundry like one that is closer to um like almost on the lemony side but not really the lemony side but still smells like fresh linen i love 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 the smell of laundry i love the smell of gain and downy and things like that too or suavitel or whatever all those brands are but i love traditional laundry scented like just the scent of doing laundry it smells so fucking good like I used to live across from a laundromat years ago and like when I would walk to the store or when I would walk to my school at the time like you would have to walk by the laundromat and you could just smell like laundry and I think that's why I love the smell of laundry so much guys um yeah and if you watch any of my like bath and body works um, wildflower plugins like I love the smell of the laundry ones and that's probably why comment down below if you guys know a perfume or a body spray or any body products that smell like laundry because I love products that smell like baby powder and I love um, products that smell like laundry so just put a sister on let me know um, if you have anything like that, because I want to know, I want to know, okay, I want to know. Um, that's it, yeah. Okay, so, we're done with the laundry part. I'm trying to do this really quickly, because it's late, plus I just taped a video, and I was talking. I was talking for like 50 minutes. Anyway, the next part is how to keep your home smelling fresh since we were talking about laundry we'll keep going with fabrics this is a fabric refreshener this is from the brand downy this says wrinkle release it says light fresh scent it says odor eliminator fabric refresher static remover and iron lid so this is essentially like a Febreze that would go on your fabrics, like your curtains and your um, co 
coach and everything like that. And it can also go on your clothes. You can see the little like directions there or whatever. This says it's lightly scented. And it is. It smells like laundry. But it's very, very light. Even for my um, liking. And I am scent sensitive. So this was very light. Um, it was cheap. I believe I got it from the dollar store. I would get it again, but you're better off getting a regular Febreze or even the no-name Febreze smells stronger than this. This was very watered down. Anyway, speaking of Febreze, that is the type of stuff for like your fabrics. This is the type of air freshener for the air. So this is this is the Febreze in the Moonlight game scent can you guys see that yeah so this smells good it smells like flowers it doesn't smell like the original game to me it just smells like a flower scent i like this one but i like the scent of the orig original game um better than this but this is good too and i in general like a lot of these scents but this just helps when you feel like the air Again, it's getting stale. You don't want to spray this all the time or too much, but it helps just get a nice fresh like smell in your home, and I like that. So there's that. Also, candles help a lot. Candles help in a couple different ways. Candles help by literally the fact of burning something will get rid of odor. That's the reason why, like, if you have some, like, you know, when you're doing a campfire or something, like, it gets rid of whatever, like, barbecue or whatever other odor or anything is going on outside. Burning unscented candles will still help your home smell better because of the fact that it, like, it is essentially, like, burning the air. But scented candles are nice, nice too, not only for aromatherapy and relaxing, but also to give your house a nice smelling scent. This is the Ivory Castle candle, and this is in the scent Sun Ripen Peach. It smells like peach candies. It smells really good. Um, I do have a review um, of this candle. I'm not sure if I'm going to post that before or after this video, but um, just know that there will be a review of this candle on... Um, on um, my channel. There you go. Got the thumbnail. But yeah, this will be on my channel. And uh, I also review a lot of Bath and Body Works candles and stuff like that. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe. Um, let's see. We talked about cleaning. We talked about airing out your house. We talked about keeping your clothes and your fabric smelling fresh by laundry and um, by fabric refreshers. We also talked about air fresheners. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We could have talked about, um, you know, essential oils and lighting incense and uh, putting things in the diffuser and putting um, wax melts on the warmer but I think that's pretty much it alright guys I hope you learned something from this if you didn't learn something from it then I hope it was entertaining to you in some way or you enjoyed it um, I also hope that um, maybe you found some new products or anything I'm Jay Poetic Stay tuned for more lifestyle videos, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. I'm not Patty LaBelle, but you should hit that bell. Did you do it? Did you? Did you do it? Alright guys, have a good night.